so um, what we're going to do here is we're going to trim out all of the stuff underneath to expose the flowers so that the bees can get to them and pollinate so that we can get some fruit on here. But we're going to leave all of the upper stuff to protect the stuff below. So, get in here. Trim all of this out. Watch out for all of these bugs under here. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of them. That's good. Let's see if we're exposing these guys here. <clears throat> okay. Looks like we got some dead stuff. I think that's what I trimmed off yesterday out here. Ouch. Watch out for this stuff. <clears throat> Watch out for Sharpies. Okay. We got some onion down here. These onion look about ready to come out. I might come out and pull those later. I don't really need them right now. So. These look pretty okay. Do we know what this is? Eh, it's cucumber from the other side. Okay, we'll leave that guy in there. As long as he doesn't choke anybody out. Right, right, we'll have to watch him. Okay, that looks okay. This mess. You can trim it pretty good, pretty aggressively. Like more than what I'm doing right now? Yeah, I think you could do a few more. Because it seems like they bounce back after I tripped them, last, trimmed them up last time pretty quickly. Yeah, I just don't want to trim anything that's got flowers on it. I think the flowers are their own stalks. That one. So this one has flowers, that one has. Okay, see. Okay. Watch out. Flower right there. Alright. Turn this into compost. Yep. This is all gonna go into the compost. So that'll be good. Feed it back to itself. Always a good thing. Oops, I just trimmed that. Cumber. It's gone hog wild crazy on the other side. It's fine. It's coming all the way across here, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is all dead stuff from the last big storm, I think. Here. Like Stink bugs. Lots of them. Yeah. I think we got all of this back here. Actually, that's cucumber. Let that guy go. Okay, so here's a squash now with its flower. Z we can get some bees in that. Look at that. How's that for a perfect formation? Huh. Of eggs. Yeah, let's get yeah. rid of those. Compost. What about this sunflower? What do you want to do with that? Um, let's let that finish. Yeah, he's almost And then done. we'll let the chickens eat it. All right, sounds good. Okay. Volunteer. Back so. down here. All right. Got bees going. Okay, here's the flowers right here. So let's get these exposed. There we go. That looks good. I don't think we need to trim much more of that. Let that go and the flowers come out. Looks good. Alright. I don't think we need to do anything with this cucumber. Maybe just the mushroom. Huh? The mushroom. Yeah, let's just turn it so that it stays back in its own <laughs> enclosure. Yeah. Trim the runners. Don't kill anything. Okay. No, considering that's what? Two plants? These guys got spikes on them. Yes, they do. Oh, that's itchy. Yep. Once more, gloves. Wow, look at them climbing up the sunflower. 
Save the sunflower. Yeah. No sunflowers were planted this year. These are all volunteers. That's good enough, I think. Look at this guy. Oh, he's covered in eggs, too. Oh, yeah, eggs. Let's get those out of there. Onions too. Yeah. Alright, I need to just come through and pick all of these onions out of here. Oh, look at that. Cucumber. Mm, I got one in there. Mm. Nice to have some more. Mm. Alright, what do you think? You think this guy's okay right now? Yeah. Right, let's go look at that uh, cantaloupe. They need to stop killing my tomatoes. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Too funny? Yeah, it's funny. I think we got some pretty big. I pulled some pretty big ones out of here last week. Eh, that's not that big. It's edible. Uh, the one I pulled out last week was twice that size. But yeah, we'll bring that guy in. I got a purpose for him. So, yeah, there's some pretty big ones in there. These guys are doing good. Use the greens. I like the greens and the carrots here. Horseradish, finally. A rogue. Is that corn? Yeah. yeah. One little piece of corn. There was another one, but somebody ate it. Freaking hardware from the. Jeez, I got. I'll show you a giant collection of the hardware that we got left over from uh, switching all of that out. Yeah. All right. So, this is where the fun begins. The cucumbers are choking out the tomatoes. Yeah. That guy needs to be spiked. Yeah, I need to re-stake it. Be better. He needs a cage. These guys. This one's got a stake too, but it's not very sturdy. Stupid fly. Hmm? Yeah, I got buzzed by a fly. Oops. And tell me all its secrets. Okay, yeah, that's not trying to come up. Okay. Trying to push it down without breaking the... Take the arm. Just take it? Yep. Pop it off. Oop, jeez. Alright. There we go. It yeah, did not bad. Didn't help. How's that? Yeah, it's still not helping. We need a cage for that. Alright, let's see. This is the arm of this guy. Mm -hmm. Here. Should need a cage a little bit. Okay. This mess? Mm hmm. They've got, there's babies on that mess. I know. No, we have to sacrifice some to save the whole amount of it. I'll just trim it right off. It's not like it's not going to just grow it back. Oh, I didn't cut that one yet. Look at that. It's like a watermelon. It's not a cantaloupe. Let's see if I can get back in there. Maybe he'll just grow in there like that. Yes, those loppers are vicious. Yeah, they are. Stink bug. I'm just trying to get the chickens to find them, but... Yeah, I think they're... The still... dog kept putting them back to bed. Yeah, I'm still afraid to come out. Well, every time they came out, the dog would, you know, shepherd them back into their pen. Right, right. She'll be good when we get sheep. <laughs> in the butt right now, though. Sorry, Bumble. No, oh, that bee's up there now. Yeah. That one. Just nasty tore up leaves off of here. All right. 
It's a lot hanging down too. Yeah. I was thinking to come through here and just trim. I would trim off everything underneath. Yeah. Didn't choke out the peppers. He's trying to. Invasive much? Yeah. You don't keep them under control. This is what happens when you let them go for a couple of weeks without keeping well, them under control. We let it go and monsoon hit. Yeah. Well, Look at the cantaloupe in there, babe. I know, I saw it. That's what I was showing earlier. This is from the inside, you can see it, and there's a watermelon back in there too. Somewhere he's a little bit farther down and back. I'll see if I can show it to you in a minute. Get this trimmed up in here. Oh, that's itchy. My arms are gonna itch after this. I found some sleeves you can get. Yeah? You wear them while you garden so you don't start itching? Yeah, that'd be good, I think. For here, since you do it bare armed. They're like, they look like tattoo sleeves. Right, right. That could be cool. There's another one. Babe. Yeah, that's the watermelon right there. That's a cantaloupe. Is it? Yep. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That was a cantaloupe. And there was one there and one here, and then there was a melon over here, and then one up above. I think. I remember. In there? There's one right here growing too. Yeah. It's quite get, nice under here. Let me get to uh, it over there. Like, like trimming the bangs. That's never a good idea. Business in the front. That's what you'll end up with. Don't trim your own bank. <laughs> All right. that. We got peppers. More. Yeah, I think it's loaded. Lots of peppers on there. Make a poblano soup or something. Yeah. The poblano's coming up through all of this. Need to trim him back too. Oops. Need to get some knee highs. There's a watermelon peeking through. As soon as he hits the right weight, he's gonna snap off. Would it be bad to trim these down? Not really. Top this thing a that bit. plant is two years old. I'm surprised he's still going. Well, I'm gonna top it a little bit since it's coming through here. This thing's like four feet tall. That one was t as tall as you. Right. There's another one back there. There is a banana pepper behind the poblano. Yep. Back in there. That's okay. Which is also out. two years old. Good. I'll leave the pepper on there. Okay, that's good. I'm not going to mess with that. We're going to need to get a... Pantyhose? Pantyhose for that. Knee highs. Yeah. Yes. Do they still sell them in those vending machine bowls? Looking <laughs> things? The little egg thingies? Yeah. I don't know. That's funny. Before it gets stuck on there. Alright, yeah, we need to get something to hang that with. When we come out here, it's going to be like that big. Hmm. And get that one back there. A oh, yeah. dangler. Yep. Trying to be sneaky. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. Right here. The watermelon right here. All right. What do you think? Better. Better. Now we can take all that, break it down, and feed it back to them. Yep. Yep. All right. So, I'm still not, I'm still bothered by this. This is still strangling out that tomato. 
guess it's okay back here, but I guess it's all right. We need some cages for these tomatoes. Mm. Post right. them up. Hmm? Get some posts for them. Yep. All right. So uh, let me get this mess cleaned up, and then I'll run you through an overview, and then we'll close it up for. Call it a day. Yep. Call it a day. So I said I was going to show you the hardware and how it got bent and twisted up when uh, that storm came through. So this is what we got here. I don't know if you can see that. Look at this guy here. You see that? That just twisted right out of the, like opened right up. Look at that. This guy's got bent and twisted up. And some of that, this one you can't really, It's I guess that's still usable. It's kind of bent, but still usable usable these guys are kind of trashed but and then the <laughs> the poncho yeah so I was concerned about it starting to rain and I thought I might need a poncho but I didn't actually consider that it's super freaking hot and muggy out here and I actually got drenched but not from uh, not from the rain that's nasty sweat so I'm gonna show you what I'm done here and then uh, I'm gonna go in and get cleaned up and finish it out. So here, let's start over here. So looking at it from this side, we got this. It's all put back up and nice and finished through here. Oh, I didn't do the grapes, crap. All right, I'll do the grapes later anyways. So, and then uh, I got these all trimmed up right here. So we got nice and exposed. All of our flowers are exposed now so the bees can get in here and get to them and do their pollinating thing. So there's that. We're gonna wait for this sunflower to finish up. We got this all cleaned up in here. So, and then uh, over here on the tomatoes, get this bucket out of here. All right, on these tomatoes, we got this cleaned up pretty good, separated away from there, that guy trying to strangle out our tomatoes so we got him trimmed back all the way around so the peppers are nice and free in here and this is good right here kind of top this guy so he's not growing through anymore and we're gonna support this one here we'll do a video on that and then all of this is good through here so I got this all put back up nice and tight the way it's supposed to be and you can see the solar is attached back on there the way that it's supposed to be we got the lights and the the uh, misting system in here and I fixed the swing back the way that it should be here so looking at it from underneath of here this is what we got so that's nice so yeah I still need to go through and do a little bit of cleanup but the shades are back up, the mister's up, the lights are up with the solar, and most of everything is trimmed up the way that it needs to be through here. So uh, I'm going to call it good for today. We still got to do some things to prepare for the rest of the week. So I'm going to get all of this in order, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.